What's going on everybody? So this isn't your typical New Year's new me video. Um, this is more just like me calling myself out as far as New Year's resolutions. I didn't do the one that I did last year, but this year hopefully it'll be better. Hopefully it'll be something that I keep my promise to. And in the last video about humiliation, you know, I feel like it maybe not a for even though I was very, very humiliated. It made me not afraid to go through the tougher things, you know, because I went through something that was tough, you know, and I had to endure it. Um, but now with that newfound, like, energy, that newfound, like, oh, I, you know, I went through that nerve wrecking, you know, out of place type of environment. I think that can honestly help me with the new stuff that I want to do, you know, with the stream with the videos, with the fitness thing. And I, like I said, I showed you guys some of the diet stuff that I was eating, but I didn't really take you along for a brand new journey. I didn't really like set like a foundation or a stone. And you know, like I told you guys, this is the first sure thing that I want to do. I want to drop down from 246 to 190 in the next four, three to four months. It's going to be tough. So I have an end goal from January 3rd to um, let's go May 1st for our brother's birthday and we're gonna do it we're gonna do it big but now today I as you're watching this video um, I am celebrating so this vlog is starting off as I upload this vlog on the new year 2021 with so much to expect from that year this vlog is starting on New Year's Eve with some party thing but like I say, third speech, like I was saying, guys, sit back, relax, and follow. And to those who have already been with me, to those who have been supporting me along this journey, thank you so much. It means, honestly, the the best to me. To anybody new brain here, strap your seatbelt, stick along for the ride. And don't forget, the stream is also up as well. Don't forget to like and follow the gaming page. That way you guys can be notified when I go for the live stream. I had you say it, guys. And Happy New Year. I really want to get back to the days where um, not only did I consistently eat healthy, uh, you know, everybody messes up. Everybody, you know, falls off, right? You guys seen on the past videos and stuff like that. But I feel like this year has to be the make it or break it year as far as like my diet, consistency, discipline. Um, I'm only getting older, guys, like I've said in the New Year's Eve thing. I'm only getting older. Um, I wanna at least start making somewhat close to six figures. You know, that's a big goal that that, that anybody can have. And I, I somehow, some way want 2021 to be that next step. You know, I wanna be a millionaire by at least 2023. Um, so I'm just trying to set those big goals. Um, I just want to be able to help out, not e even if it's just one person, to be able to get out of their comfort zone. And I feel like I got to be able to set that, that example, you know, by doing this, by, you know, staying consistent with my goals, staying consistent with the discipline. You know, I've always dreamt of working with, you know, a big... Uh, corporation as far as like you know athletic wise and you know i feel like the only way it'll happen is if you know I, my if my butt like your body's your temple and i'm not saying that i'm obese or anything like that but i'm not where i want to be as far as like fatigue physique wise or body wise yeah i may have a little bit of muscle or whatever you know i may have a little bit of guns right but um i really really want to be lean and i want to you know, motivate someone out there, even if it's just one of you guys watching this video right now. Who knows, maybe in five months, on May 1st, I'll have this whole different physique, whole different body. And that's what I'm trying to set with this. I, and, and, and honestly, it's just bigger than that. It's just staying consistent with the goal because I'll be the first to admit, and I feel like this is something that we all must do. I've fallen off a lot of my goals. I've fallen off a lot of my dreams. And it's my own fault that I'm not where I'm at. It's my own fault, you know. And that's what I got to do. I got to stay consistent, you know, with the stream, with the videos, 
stuff like that. If I really want this to grow, it's time to get even more serious than what I've already been. And that's why I kind of want to bring you guys more into, you know, the grocery hauls, you know, especially since I'm doing this journey. Um, the the workout videos, you know, I have a friend who I'm actually going to be training. Um, it's a co-worker, actually. Um, and I would like to help him with his journey. And along with his journey, I'll be able to go through my journey. So it'll be awesome to see that and I'll be able to do like workout videos. He'll be involved in it, but I'll also have like, I'll be at my gym recording stuff for you guys so you guys can see those type of videos. It's not going to be cinematic or awesome or crazy or like <laughs> edited and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, I'm just me by myself editing these videos. I don't have anybody yet until I record like another Aranza video, which I have done before. I can even show like this one right here. But yeah, guys. Um, be, be on the lookout for stuff like that. I'm excited, honestly. Um, it's not going to be the most exciting stuff ever, but it's going to be something that I consistently do. And I hope to bring you guys along for the journey. So, yep. Yeah. I just want to start off by saying this video is going to be a little jumpy jappy. But what better way to start off the new year, the first day, first diet. I got two New York strip steaks. I'm a big red meat dude i love the color red i love red meat that is for certain so you will always have a high red meat diet i know it's bad for you whatever blah 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 um it's better to eat poultry but you got to eat something that you're consistently going to always have i do eat poultry at least two to three times a week but i like to mix it up with some steaks once in a while i got corn right here boiling i got rice boiling about one cup of rice for people who are trying to go higher carb you always want to go at least one or two cups of rice um or even more than two cups of rice as far as you want to gain mass some size people who are leaning out should go at least one cup or less or even if you want to go on a keto diet just higher fats lower carbs higher proteins blah 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 you name it but yeah i got the corn i got the steak one of these steaks actually for my girlfriend i got the rice i'm gonna save half of the cup for aranza two of those are for aranza some mac and cheese yes you could get like like this is what i'm saying learn how to use your different fats that you have my battery is actually gonna die in about like 30 minutes but learn to like have different types of of fats that are gonna like um how do i explain it that they're gonna you know just be special they're gonna be unique in a way you cannot always you know just go cold turkey as far as like you know you're just gonna eat lean meat and that's it because you know what you're gonna hit you're gonna hit failure with that and then i got a banana with a protein shake goes off coffee ice cream um so that's going to be my last meal of the day. And right now, honestly, guys, I'm just chilling for the day. I actually did not go to work. I was throwing up yesterday. I mean, as far as today and yesterday. Um, I think the chicken wings were a little bad that I ate yesterday. Watching a little bit of TV. And then I got reading a book. One thing, if you guys are brand new to this channel, I've always, 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 always have prided myself on reading at least one book a week. Or even just having a book in hand just to always read at least chapter a day. Whatever it is that you want to do. Always grow your mind, grow your mindset in any, any way possible. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a grocery haul video. Probably not after, not this video, but the next video I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. Aranza and I are going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to record the type of proteins and meats. I have done one before. I'll link that one down below. My older grocery haul when I was uh, going to college and it was kind of like a low budget. So you guys can see that. But yeah, um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Hope you enjoyed the last video. If you are brand new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell so that way you can be notified when I do upload a video because you know you want, you always want to be uploaded. I mean, you always want to be notified when I upload a dog on video. And also, don't forget my grooming stream. Don't forget that because I always update you guys on before stuff, before I actually update these videos. I put up stuff in there that, you know, most people don't see, you know, behind the scenes stuff of how you created a video. And of course, who doesn't like gaming? And who doesn't like to hang out with other people and just game, for instance. Now, I gotta make sure that my steak is sizzling. So this is like a final meal. So we got our proteins right here, our steak. We got some white rice, some... Uh, macaroni cheese some corn it's a lot of carbs i know but i am doing legs tomorrow you always want to eat higher legs 
the day before or the day after you hit the legs, like as far on the day of, sorry. Um, so I'm trying to like book up on carbs because tomorrow and for the rest of the week I'm going to be low on carbs. Today is pretty much like the highest carb day of the week. That way I can keep saying because without my damn carbs I'm going to go crazy. But this is a quick meal guys. Like I said, you can have these, you know, a misconception is, let me mute this behind me real quick. Let me press pause. A misconception is that you need to, like you see these bodybuilders, right? And they're eating like chicken and veggies. And like I said, most of your meals are always going to have chicken and veggies and a little bit of white rice. But those guys are competing to look like that. Those guys are competing against the best in the world. We're only competing against ourselves to become disciplined and to lose weight. And gradually, it's a slow process. You know, if you want to go in fast process-wise, then be my guest. Go for that. But this is a slow process. And like I said, most of your meals are going to look like, you know, just the plain old chicken and veggies. But you want to mix it up in a while. Mix it up once in a while. And also, of course, have your cheat days or your refeed days, which is basically like where you just eat a high surplus amount of calories. And of course, like your ice cream, your burgers, you know, your cheese stuff, basically anything that you consider a cheat, cheat, cheat treat, then that's of course going to be on your cheat day. But meals like this, you can have once a week or even twice a week, depending on how much you train. Also, a lot of people burn more calories than others. So like you need to eat consistently more meals, especially if you're trying to gain size. It's different. Um, but yeah, don't fall into that fad stuff about, you know, the keto diet is going to change your world and which it will. But don't believe all that scams about a pills, a magic pill can make your stuff like that. You know, the pills will enhance your ability to lose weight in a way. But at the end of the day, it's all going to be natural processes. Um, and don't fall into the thing that, oh, you just got to eat chicken and veggies. Like I said, you can have these meals once in a while. So I'm going to demolish this meal now. Wah! That one didn't work out. Whew, hold on, we need a little bit of light here. So, the reason why this has been mainly a food eating video, guys, is because I was recording for y'all, and if you could tell under the voice of my thing, no, I don't have the corona, so don't get worried. You're not gonna get it if I cough on the damn freaking camera. <coughs> but no, with that, be oh my god, I think it's foggy now. But I got a little sick, I got a little under the weather. I actually haven't been able to work just for safety protocols and stuff like that the past two days. But I am getting better. I took some medicine. And I decided that the only thing I can honestly do is create eating videos for you guys. I did upload a brand new TikTok, which I am eating ground sirloin, five maíz tortillas, a little bit of cheese, some beans to add flavor. And this thing is sizzling, bizzling. Man, I don't even know how I got sick. It just came out of nowhere. This is very important. Whatever grilling oil spray you got to use because you don't want nothing to stick. A lot of people use coconut oil, avocado oil, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just use grilling oil, honestly, it works best for me. That's just the way I like it. And now you're gonna hear the sizzle. Oh! A nice little sizzle sazzle ground beef. Ground, like I said in the, in the previous clip, guys, red meat is my favorite thing in the world. That is my favorite thing. Okay, so seasoning wise, I'm experiencing with other ones. Red fajita. I love lemon pepper. Usually after I flip it, I'll just season it with one side only. Lemon pepper is my fave. And then over here on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and put some tortillas. One there, boil up, right? You guys know how to make tortillas. Usually once you start seeing bubbles, that's when you know it's gonna like get ready to be ready and stuff. Got the sticks, the thing sizzling. And then I'm gonna add some beans, put that in the damn freaking beef. Yes, you can cook it like that once the meat's cooked. Um, and then we'll add a little bit of cheese to the tortillas. And then there you go with some green salsa. This is preferably my best green salsa. If you shop at HEB, I'll leave any Walmart has it too. This is a uh, green salsa called La Costena Green Salsa or you can just use any particular other ones that you may like. Um, I just went grocery shopping. I was promising you guys a grocery haul, but like I said, I've been feeling under the weather. Um, I bought a lot of little, like, you know, water bottles, Coke Zeros. I got some salmon out that's gonna cook for us. I'll probably record that as well. Ocean Spray, if you guys saw my TikTok, you guys will know why I have this Ocean Spray along with a Twisted Tea. I dedicate myself to these videos. I bought one thing of alcohol that I knew I wasn't gonna drink, and some cranberry dam spray, which Aranza does use for, you know, her times of the month. And I knew 
that I was gonna have to come up with a little video idea. And I don't know why on this damn earth, my damn videos, my damn batteries dying on me, so I'm gonna have to let you guys go for a little bit, so I'm gonna have to put you away for now. Wow, what's going on everyone? So like I said, this video was gonna be a little weird. Um, I got sick, so everything was just kind of out of place. Um, but I did want to end off with a, some, with a, a kind of like, it's not really an amazing story, it's more like a traumatizing story. And I feel like I have to tell you guys, if you hear any sizzling in the background because I'm cooking and um, I'm excited to show you the next video guys because I feel like I'm going to be able to bring more energy because I'm not going to be sick. Uh, I got some football in the background because it's the playoffs, you know, I'm excited for that. Also, um, big shout out to Peter for the thumbnail. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But I want to talk about what happened. So I live in Huntsville, which is like about an hour away from Houston, and I work in Conroe, which is like halfway. So basically, I drive 30 minutes from work and back, right? So I was working, I went, I was, I got out of work from Conroe, Texas, right? And I was right, come on, man. I was basically driving down home, um, and I was about 20 minutes away from home, and it started raining. It was already dark as it is, you know, dark clouds, everything, you know, kind of like an apocalyptic type of uh, setting. Dark, everything dark. Hold on, because I don't want this damn freaking apartment to burn now. Hold on, hold on. So, as I was saying before I burned down my whole damn place, um, I was driving down home, right? You know, driving down home and stuff, and... I put my windshield blaze on, right? It was raining, you know, just right? And then all of a sudden, it's like the freaking World War, World War Zone, you know, thing. It just, everything just went so crazy dark. It started raining aggressively. I couldn't see anything. And then it even got worse. It started hailing and I have a crack on my glass. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys about this before, but I have a crack on my glass. It's a big, long one. And the only thing I could think of when it was hailing was that this is going to break my damn thing because it was hitting pretty hard. But honestly, I'm surprised at how well everything head up. But when it started hailing, I couldn't see anything because the rain and everything it started fogging up because it was cold. So I turned on my damn heater. You know, I look outside. The, I opened my. I literally had to open my window just to see outside. So I open my window, look outside. I get wet. Everything's all on me. Ice, 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 little, ice, little tiny, tiny. You know, hail, hail, ice cubes are all, all on me. It comes into my car, and I'm like, oh crap, I can't see anything. I put my hazard lights on. I literally was so scared because there was trailers in front of me and trailers behind me. And literally, as I was driving slow, I saw all the cars across the expressway stopped. Everybody was to the side. Um, but not me, I was just following on the trailer, just going at it. And I was just like, no, I gotta get home, man, before it gets crazy. But luckily, it died down, and I made it home safely. I was a little traumatized, honestly. I caught Aranza, and I was a little speechless. Uh, um, I was honestly like, like it, it caught me by surprise. Um, but thankful, thankful to God and thankful to, you know, a car for staying intact as well. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you for, for everything just coming, you know, just out. It, it was, it, it was a very scary day and I was just happy to get home. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it couldn't be so much of a detailed story for you guys, but um, I wanted to show you guys the type of meals that you could eat even though you are on a diet or the type of things you could do um, as you start your dietary restrictions and stuff like that. Um, feel free to honestly just play with anything you got. You kind of have to just, you're, I mean, you may, like, you may like keto, you may like low carb, you may like high carb, you may like low protein, high protein. It's honestly all up to you. You just got to be able to venture off into different journeys of yours. Um, but I wish you the best of luck, guys, for the new year and new journey. For me, I'm starting off a good week. Um, Today's your day you're watching is actually Saturday, which I'm uploading the same day. Um, I'm actually going to have a cheat day, so I'm excited for that, you know. Going to get some nice, uh, some McDonald's maybe. Um, just a little cheat day, nothing too crazy. Um, and you guys have to have those goals of yours, you know. Set that, okay, I'm going to have this day, you know, just stay consistent for this long, and then I tr can treat myself. That's the type of mindset you got to have. Um, unless you're competing or something in bodybuilding, then you just have to be super, super strict, so you better be, be to be super strict. Uh, but once again, guys, sorry for the blah, blah, blah of the video. Um, blah, blah, blah means like it was just spontaneous things. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to stay motivated, stay grinding. And also down below, I have my gaming channel. I mean, my, yeah, my gaming stream uh, link down below. I do stream at least three times a week. If you guys want to come and watch me be goofy and play some games with friends. Um, 
it'll be greatly appreciated if you guys follow that as well. And also, don't forget, I follow the TikTok. I made a brand new TikTok. Um, you'll be able to see that as well on the link down below. Um, so, yeah, guys, stay motivated, stay grinding. And as always, till next time, bye bye.